Hi, I am Magdalena Batrewska and you're watching Back at Home. Welcome back. Today I would like to share with you a piece by Frédéric Chopin that the composer never wanted you to hear. His Fantasy Impromptu of his posthumous 66. The piece was written in 1834 and Chopin specifically asked that none of his unpublished work uh, ever see the light of day. However, his friend Jules Fontana disobeyed Chopin's wish and decided to have this piece published in 1855. We're not really sure why Chopin wished for this piece to remain unpublished. What we do know is that in 1960, the legendary Polish pianist Arthur Rubinstein acquired an album at an auction, an album that used to belong to Baroness Deste. And in that album, he found a beautiful manuscript of the Fantasie Impromptu by Chopin in his own hand. Rubinstein surmised that the piece might have been a paid commission, judging by the inscription on the score, the piece composed for Baroness Deste, rather than dedicated to Baroness Deste. The title itself, Fantasy Impromptu, suggests a focus on imagination, fantasy, and of course, improvisation. And we can only wish to have been there to hear Chopin's own improvisations. It was a very popular custom among virtuoso pianists and composers to get together and improvise. This piece departs quite a bit from that extremely free improvisation. It is a structured in a ternary form, A, B, A, plus a coda, C, O, D, A, meaning the tail of the piece. Let's take a very quick look at the piece before you hear the complete performance of it. Right from the start, Chopin tears to the silence with the G sharp. It is quite as shocking as the opening sforzato chord of the B minor scherzo. Now that we have established the key of C sharp minor, Chopin introduces what has been a wonderful challenge to master for many, many students around the world, and that is the cross rhythms. All it means is that the right hand will be playing four sixteenth notes against the triplets in the left hand. You hear it? Next, you will hear a melody that is being passed from the thumb to the fifth finger of the right hand. And now the emphasis will be on the fifth finger. Chopin returns to the main material, building it up to the fiery climax. Which he brings to a boiling point here at the peak. tension is too much to handle, Chopin creates this beautiful transformation. We are now moving on to the next section, the section B of the ternary A, B, A form. This middle section is written in a major mode, which provides quite a bit of serenity following the anxiety of the opening C sharp minor. 
Now, what's really interesting is the transformation that uh, Chopin accomplishes here, moving from the key of C sharp minor to the key of D flat major. So C sharp and D flat are obviously the same key. What Chopin does now is to transform the same key on the piano, truly, into the warm and serene key of D flat major. So instead of modulating, instead of changing the key for this next B section in the ternary A, B, A structure, Chopin is staying on the same key, but yet everything else about the atmosphere changes. Let's listen to these lovely rolling arpeggios that begin the middle section. just heard is one of the most poetic tunes by Frédéric Chopin, a tune that actually inspired a famous vaudeville song called I'm Always Chasing Rainbows. While the cross rhythms might have been a challenge in the A section, here our biggest responsibility is to keep the piano singing. We know that Chopin was a great admirer of opera. And here he gives that responsibility of a singer, of a human voice, to the right hand. that we have allowed ourselves to get completely lost in the beauty of this middle section. It is time to return. And we are right back into the rustling anxiety of the C sharp minor. Let's talk about the coda that follows the return of the A section and concludes the piece. And instead of bringing the piece to a crushing dramatic end, Chopin withdraws quietly, giving us one more surprise. Let's hear the full performance of this Fantasie Impromptu by Frédéric Chopin.
Thank you for listening. As always, I invite you to subscribe to my channel where you will find many more videos on the Back at Home playlist. For now, take care and